Satellite images we've been showing you, well, they show that three-mile-long convoy of Russian troops and tanks approaching, heading towards uh, Ukraine's capital, Kiev. Congressman Mark Green is a member of the House Armed Services Committee, and he joins us now. Sir, to me, it seems like Putin is cornered. Does that make him more dangerous? Yeah, I think it does make him more dangerous. He's got to get a win out of this somehow, or his oligarchs are going to take him down. So this, uh, both the convoy and stepping up the, basically to def, his version of DEFCON 5, if you put it in our words, um, is, is that kind of an escalation that shows he's trapped. And uh, this is a very dangerous place for us, Stuart. Can I just follow up on that? Because a few moments yeah. ago, Kurt Volker, he was former U.S. ambassador to NATO, he told me just a moment ago that he doesn't think Putin survives. He thinks Putin could be taken down by his own generals. That's kind of extreme stuff. You want to flesh this out for us? Absolutely. I'm in communications with senior leaders in Ukraine via, via text and some of the apps, and, and they now see an opportunity um, that, that, that if they continue to resist and hold on a little longer and the price gets a little bit more, more body bags. And right now, when they texted me last night, 4,500 Russians had been killed or wounded, uh, 15 tanks, 30 armored personnel carriers, about 30 aircraft. This is costing Putin far more than he ever imagined. Hmm. And so they're now hoping they can hold out long enough for the Russians themselves to do regime change. Well, you're a military guy. How long can they hold out for? I mean, we've got this huge tank, this column of armor approaching Kiev. I mean, if they were engaged in urban warfare, like the way they're engaging it in Kharkiv, then Kiev yes. is demolished. What would be Putin standing after that? Well, clearly, he's already got a horrible standing throughout the West. Now, I'm not sure how Xi Jinping is taking this carpet bombing method, but you know, that's an important piece of this. India is another very important piece of this. And I think we're starting to see, and I follow several of their leaders, the tone on their Facebook is turning. Remember, they bought the S-400 from Russia. They need Russia for parts. But now you're starting to see statements from India that even they are turning against what he's doing. So this carpet bombing, his, his grasping efforts for a win out of this are causing him to be further and further isolated. India starting to turn on him. Uh, this is this is Putin's folly. I mean, he's he's he's. Uh, I think he's done for myself. Can President Biden take any credit here? No, I don't think so. President Biden stair stepped this process, and it, it emboldened Putin at the beginning. We we could have been definitive, decisive from the beginning, and perhaps even stopped it from happening. Happening. So I, I almost blame Biden. His initial words were great. The rhetoric. I told him, "Hey, they they they're getting this one right." Even Blinken's comments, and then they executed just in a half measures. Keep and even the Swift transactions. They're talking about making exceptions for energy. That would be the whole point of what we do is to shut down their energy economy. It's 40 percent of their economy, and oil's 101 or 102 bucks right now. It's going to maybe. 120, 130, that just doubles Putin's income. So we, we are just doing half measures from our administration. Congressman Mark Green, thank you for being with us this morning, sir. We appreciate Thanks. it. See you again soon.